Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of these different chargers and cables sent out courtesy of Spigen. So big thank you and shout out to them for sending these out free for review. We've got a huge haul here of their newest and latest and greatest chargers and cables. So let's start at the top here. We've got the ArcStation Pro GAN 352, which is a total of 35 watt output. We've got the 652, which is 65 watt output. And we've also got the 452, which is 45 watt output. All of these use USB-C. Right here, we've got the Essential MFI certified USB-C to lightning cable. And yes, this is truly MFI certified. I've checked all of these uh, before I do any of these videos. These are on Apple's website as being certified. I won't review anything that's not listed there. Uh, it has to be MFI certified. I take that very seriously. Here we have the DuraSync USB-C to USB-C 2.0 cable, certified high-speed USB right here, uh, supports power delivery as well. So here are the specs if you wanna take a look. Let's open these up one by one and we'll test them out uh, and just show you guys how it works. Speaking always has this packaging where they've got two stickers up here at the top, but only one at the bottom. So let's just open it down here. It looks like they did actually redesign this, which is what I was asking them to do. That is awesome. So they have a little open tab here. Nice. So let's open this. And we've got a couple of booklets about their technology, but we don't need that. We're here for the charger. So let's see how small this is. Looks small. So we got a little sticker here that says power quality. Let's pull that off. Left a little bit of residue. Look at that. Not a fan of that, but hey, that's all right. This does not fold at all. So it is just it is what it is. Uh, again, right there, no lights or anything, I don't think. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Yeah, no lights. It just works, I guess. Here are the specs, if you can read that, if you want to pause it. This one was the 35-watt variant. So let's go ahead and open up uh, this right here, and we will test this out. So this is the MFI certified cable. This one does not have an easy open on it. Uh, so it's got two up here, but only one down here. So we are going for the one at the bottom because that is going to be easier to open. Open her up. Cable, nothing else. Very simple packaging. I love it. Spigen, Velcro. I don't need these, uh, but they always include it. And there it is. There is the cable. I have used so many of these in my time. They work great. So here it is. We always take a look and inspect the end of these cables. Looking good. No issues. This one as well. Looking good. No issues there. So let's go ahead and plug it in, make sure it works. So plug it in one end here, and this will fast charge the iPhone 13 Pro here. So I've got it right here, plug it in. Boom, just like that, fast charging, no issues at all. Look at that, perfect. These are both a go, so we can unplug this. We will keep this cable around because we're gonna test every single one of these with this iPhone. Just to make sure it works, this can fast charge, you know, uh, an iPad or iPhone. Next up, let's take a look at, let's actually move up to the 45 watt. So I'm not sure if any, Maybe the MacBook Air uses less than 45 watts of charge. I'm not entirely sure. Why am I doing that? <laughs> I forgot they have this easy open tab, but I think I ruined it. Nope, still works. But anyways, there is the product number if you care, if you need to look it up. Um, let's open this. Let's see how much bigger this one is from the other one. Nothing else in the box except some pamphlets. And this one is a little bit bigger actually. Not by much though. Let's pull this sticker off. Let's see if we can do this without <laughs> any residue. Okay, that was a clean pull off. So no issues there with this one. But let's do a quick size comparison. You guys can see the 35 watt versus the 45 watt. Both are very small, but you can definitely see a size difference. Not this way, but definitely this way. There's a little bit of difference, but yeah. Anyways, let's try it out, make sure it works. One end of the MFI certified Spigen cable right here. The other end going straight into the iPhone like so and what do you know? It works perfectly. Fast charging my iPhone without issue. Of course, this can easily do two iPhones, an iPad, an iPhone. Um, it can charge an iPhone full speed plus an iPad uh, without issue. It can also do, I think, a MacBook, MacBook Air, maybe the regular MacBook. I'm not entirely sure of the wattages on those. But one single port on this can do 45 watch, which is great. All right, let's take a quick look at the DuraSync cable before we get to this big boy. Uh, let's open this up from the bottom because this one does not have the easy open tab, unfortunately. And here it is, it's in a nice little baggie. Let's open that up. And wow, this is, this means business guys. This is a very high quality cable. Speaking always seems to deliver on high quality cables here. You guys can see the ends of these are just so big. Um, that's how you know that they are good quality. It's braided as well. I really like that. It's USB-C to C. And there's not really a good way to test this. 
at least for me in the studio, because I've only got the iPhone, which is lightning. Soon there'll be USB-C. <laughs> but for now, uh, you guys can see the ends of this. Let's just take a look, make sure nothing's warped. Yeah, everything looks good here. If you need a high powered USB-C to USB-C cable that can support power delivery, check this one out. Like I said, it's braided. It's a really good length and it looks good. So links to it down below. All right, guys, lastly, we have the Arc Station Pro 652, which is the 65 watt, which I believe can do even the smaller MacBook Pros, maybe 65 watts. Uh, not entirely sure on that, but definitely the MacBook Air and the MacBooks. So let's see how big this one is. A couple of booklets. Look at that packaging right there. 53% smaller. Nice. This can do 65 watts out of one port, which is pretty good, especially for how small it is. We're going to compare all of these here in a second. Power, quality, let's see, no residue on this one. Nice. So here is the full lineup. 35 watts, 45 watts, 65 watts. See the progression, little brother to big brother. <laughs> they don't really, they're pretty similar in size. I mean, let's be honest here, 65 watts in this tiny package. Let's try it out. Again, no lights on any of these, which could be a good or a bad thing, depending on what you like. I personally don't like lights, just it's a cleaner look, especially if they are in a bedroom, but we'll plug this in. Let's make sure it charges up here and there it is. No issues, fast charging the iPhone right there. So this can charge, you know, MacBook, iPhone, iPad, anything you throw at it pretty much, except for the big boy MacBook Pros. This can do the MacBook Airs just fine. Super sleek design, matte white with their little logo, USB-C ports right there, gallium nitride. What's not to love here? Big thank you and shout out to Speakin for sending these out free for review. Great product lineup. I use these products daily, so I can vouch for them. They work great. Uh, check them out. Links to everything down below. That's all I got for this one. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.